Well, so you, you've heard it from multiple panel members. You know, number one is lift and shift is not an option, right? So, you know, when you go, when you start to looking at your capabilities and moving it to the yeah, cloud let's environment. let's move this old stuff into another you know, place. Lift and shift is not the answer. And I'll tell you that from a from a DOD perspective, we initially looked at cloud as a, as a cost savings factor. And the idea was we would simply lift and shift our stuff to the cloud and magically save money. Right. And, you know, it doesn't really work like that. So the rationalization that Frank talked about is key. Uh, you know, and then moving the essential stuff to the cloud, and more importantly, making sure that it's designed and built in the cloud environment and you're not shifting old school technology. Uh, you know, we've talked a lot about security, right? So security is the kind of the, 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 the number one thing when we talk to DOD mission partners mm -hmm. about why they haven't moved more and more workload to the commercial cloud or to the cloud environment right. at all, and it's that security issue, right? So when they move into a traditional data center into a traditional server, they get a certain set of security services that are provided inherently as part of that. When they move to the cloud, they don't necessarily get that stuff, and so there's some consternation there, mostly amongst the approving authorities about giving ATOs for things that are moving into right. the cloud. So we put a lot of things in place uh, with the, in the, from a DoD perspective to make sure that the security capabilities are there uh, so that people can safely and securely move their workloads to commercial cloud. So those are kind of the two big ones, yeah. right? Really, you know, don't lift and shift and, and the focus like on security. I, I like that, don't lift and shift.